Hi everyone, you're going to start your in class number six. It's known as Color the Geeks. In order to do that, we're just going to do a file open and you will go to your thumb drive, your um, folder that has your in class assignments, Photoshop. There's a folder in class number six. You're going to open up what we call line art. I'm also going to open up an example to just show you what, what it is you'll be doing. Here's an example of what I give to you. It's a coloring exercise in Photoshop and when you get done you will color all the parts of it and include a simple phrase between the two geeks. On here, in order to do this, um, you're going to unlock this background and you're going to call it Color Me. You'll go ahead and click OK and then you can change this to Multiply. When you change this to multiply, you can actually go in here with your um, magic wand tool and you can select and if you want to add a selection, this is the button you would click to add a selection with your magic wand. So I can select his entire jacket, excluding his lapel, and I can go in here and choose a color from the color picker and then dump the color with my paint bucket in all of the selected parts. Sometimes you just have to click a few times is what I've noticed with Creative Cloud to get it in there. And just because I'm demoing it, I'm not going to be able to do that. Then turn off your selection and then you'll just grab a your magic wand again and select, no, it's adding that selection. I can choose a color for his pants. And in the meantime, with your paint bucket, you'll just add color. You can choose, um, you can add patterns as well. Instead of choosing a foreground, you could add a pattern. And you can add multiple patterns up here to this category. Then when you drop, you get a pattern. And if you don't like that pattern, you can actually go add patterns yourself into the pattern box by going to edit and adding define pattern and give it a name. First, in order to make this define pattern work, you must take a small selection with the marquee tool of that. So if you find I found a tweed, so I'm going to open that so you can kind of see how to do that. Here's a tweed that I found on the internet. And if I want this to be part of my pattern selection, I grab my marquee tool and I make a pattern of this, whatever part I want, if, I, if this is the part I want, or this is the part that I think would be the neat pattern. You just take a small selection of it, and then you go up here to edit, to find pattern, and I'm just going to call this Tweed, and when I do that, inside my patterns, when I'm choosing to drop color on my line art, I now have a new pattern to select from. So you can add fur, different types of patterns by doing that. So this is something you do on your own, if you'll go ahead and color all of it. A lot of people like to put a background behind. If you choose to do a background behind, make sure that you add the background and it lies underneath and you'll have to change this back to normal and then when you delete the background you'll be able to see through that. This is going to be saved as inclass6.psd. Make sure and save the JPEG and you will upload both of those this week.